So I don't know about you, but it's been feeling pretty cold and autumnal over in the UK. And it definitely feels as though summer has completely left us now. I've relinquished myself to winter. I am ready for you now, come and get me. So I was flicking through the recipe um, called A Salad for All Seasons by the author of uh, two other books, called one called Red Velvet and the other called Chocolate Heartache. Um, and that's Harry Eastwood and she has compiled a book of delicious delicious salads that I am completely in love with. I haven't stopped kind of flicking through and bookmarking ones that I want to try. So it's a Sunday and we had loads to do in the morning and we wanted something that we could put on and forget about. And in Harry Eastwood's book, I found this delicious recipe for a southern salad with root beer brisket. And oh my god, I couldn't wait to try it. So we found a piece of brisket at one of the local butchers and spoke to him about it, like where he sources his meat and things like that. And he is very turned on and very conscious about his, um, his choice of suppliers and things. So we found this really good a uh, locally produced grass-fed piece of brisket and we were absolutely excited to get this recipe going. So a few, I think it took about five or six hours of cooking, it took so long but it was completely worth it. So in the morning we uh, prepared the brisket and um, chopped up all of the uh, onions and uh, the sauce to go on the brisket and my god it was delicious. We got it in and forgot about it and then we went and uh, did our kind of like Sunday chores and took the dog for a walk and we met up with our old housemate um, who we then just lost the day with. It was absolutely perfect. You know these times when you're just like catching up with old friends and like the hours go by and suddenly you realise it's the end of the day. So we all came back and cracked into some delicious, delicious sparkling zec and it was so yummy. It was from the local uh, wine shop Connolly's just on the corner near us on Livery Street in Birmingham. So we all gathered around, had a bit of wine and uh, just caught up. It was perfect. It started raining outside which just made the atmosphere even that more better. So Florette Salad got in contact and they wanted to share this new book about salads by Harry Eastwood and they also wanted to share a few messages about their products. I've always chosen Florette Salads in supermarkets because I know that they don't use any nasty chemicals on the environment and they also have like really good growing practices. Uh, you can find out more on their website. This isn't necessarily a low calorie meal because of the brisket but we used the salad um, for the accompanying southern salad to go with it and it was so delicious. I've always loved florette salads, I think it's just perfect. We all gathered around, made up a salad and just kind of chilled out together. The dog was completely mortified that there was this big piece of beef brisket and he was not allowed any so he was not a happy bunny. We just loaded up our plates and just had the most perfect evening just catching up laughing for hours and before we knew it it was it was practically monday